back to my channel. Today I have a July message for all of the Tauruses out in the collective. Please note this is going to be a general reading, so it is not going to resonate with every single Taurus out in the collective. I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I am a psychic intuitive, a spiritual coach, and a sound healing practitioner. So without further ado, Taurus, let's go ahead and dive right into your July message. So Taurus, we are starting out with the Observer, Peace, and Healing. Okay, Taurus, the heart of your reading here is that you need to be at peace with whatever is transpiring in your life. It might feel like things are a little bit stagnant right now. Things aren't moving as fast as you would like them to move. But I want you to understand that the reason for this is that there's some healing going on in the background that you are not actually aware of. And you're really needing to sort of take a step back and just observe what is transpiring. I feel that the reason for this, Taurus, is that you're needing to allow what needs to be to be and allow it to sort of take shape and form in the way that it is meant to. The observer card here really speaks about just being a witness, observing things from a different perspective or having no emotional attachment to what transpires. So it's important for you to understand that as the observer, you are just witnessing what is occurring and sort of allowing your own intuition to guide you and provide you with the wisdom that you need in regards to what is happening. The healing that is taking place for you here, Taurus, is really about bringing peace into your every day. And I feel that that might um, be a little bit stressful for you. So we have the Page of Pentacles here with the Six of Pentacles. And this truly speaks about you underst like observing, observing what is transpiring and then as you understand and observe what is going on around you, you're able to take action, guided action towards those things and making sure that you're putting your energy in places that it is useful, that it is helpful. I want to point out here that as you become the witness of experiences, situation, maybe certain things that are transpiring with other individuals around you, it allows you to sort of see the energy exchange that is transpiring in those particular situations. And it helps you to be a lot more practical about your actions, about your steps, and about where things are going in your life. So I feel this month it's important that you remain in that observer position so that you could truly um, take appropriate action. We now have the Nine of Cups with the Six of Cups. This is interesting. So we started out with Pentacles, which is about your resources, right? So I want you to sort of look at this from the perspective here, Taurus, that, you know, you need to observe where your energy is going when it comes to your resources and, and how you are utilizing your resources. Are you being practical or are you just... Um, utilizing all of your resources in places that aren't really effective, that aren't really giving you anything. Now that we have the cups, right, this is about you needing to understand that you have to find balance and compassion when it comes to your emotions. The nine of cups is about a wish fulfillment, but the six of cups is really about being compassionate and understanding about people in your life, even past situations, not really allowing your emotions to get the best of you. It's about finding that balance and that harmony when it comes to situations. Um, that, you know, pertain to your assets or your resources. We now have the three of cups here with the star card, Taurus. So right away, I can tell you that, you know, I feel that you 
are ultimately really wanting to get hands in on all the things that are sort of transpiring in your life. You have a certain wish fulfillment that you are wanting to achieve. You're reaching for the stars here and you're trying to attain a specific goal. But I feel like things really aren't moving fast enough because there are some things from your past that are sort of coming up in your present moment that are triggering you emotionally and preventing you from truly um, being the observer. Understand that when things come up from the past, it's wanting you to see it from a different perspective. It's wanting you to see it from a loving, compassionate perspective. And then Ask yourself, you know, what do I need to heal about this situation? What do I need to, to surrender about this situation? Because I feel a lot of times when we don't surrender, we're actually holding on to things that we don't necessarily need to hold on to. With the hangman and the queen of wands here, the hangman is all about patience. And it's all about using our time wisely. You know, whenever we are presented with certain specific situations, Taurus, or certain specific uh, circumstances, we have to use that time wisely to be confident in our choices and in our decisions and how we are putting forth effort and energy into those things. I feel that you have this desire of what you're wanting to achieve or what you're wanting to become or what you're wanting to do. But I feel that what you need to do is you need to surrender to the process. You need to surrender a specific outcome and allow things to unfold naturally. Because I feel that when you can do that, when you can connect inwardly towards your heart and follow your heart, you'll be able to really see what's working and what's not and then you'll be able to make different choices based off of that. We now have the lovers and the moon card. The lovers is all about the choices that we make and how connected we are to our heart and when we follow our heart's instincts and gut, right? The moon is all about the secrets, the things in the unknown that we often try to hide from ourselves or that we truly choose to not reflect upon. The moon also represents our emotions. And I feel that whatever's transpiring for you this month, understand that everything has to come to the surface in order for it to be healed. And so this is the important thing. The one thing about the star is that it represents healing and it represents having hope that things will transition to that healing phase. So I want you to understand here, uh, Taurus, that even though it may seem like things are not moving fast enough, maybe on the surface, it might appear that nothing's happening. Know that things are happening behind the scene. We have the Page of Swords here with the Six of Wands. And this is really about you understanding that you have all that you need. You are prepared to face what is transpiring or what is to come. And you're going to be successful. You will overcome these challenges. You will um, go through this entire healing process here, Taurus, um, and you won't have to worry about it. So I do want you to understand that. I feel that this month is really about you finding the balance and the harmony in your, in your life, in your relationships, in your situation, you observing things from a different point of view and allowing things to heal naturally. So Taurus, this is your message this month. I want to thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time with your new message. Bye, guys. Thank you.